Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And today I have a haul. Oh my glory, wait till you see. I have a whole bag here of stuff. I'm just going to go through it real quickly. I went to three places. I went to Goodwill, I went to Joanne Fabrics, and I went to the Dollar Tree. And I spent about a total of 30 maybe $38 total for all of this. Um, wait till you see. So the first place I went was to Goodwill, where for $5 I got this entire bag of ribbon. And yes, we will open it up. Let me show you the other stuff first, and we will come back to that. Oh my glory, there is so much. Okay, I have to stand up. So then we went to Joanne Fabrics, and they're, of course, a little bit more expensive. Uh, but the Violet Studios, they were still having a buy two, get three free. So the first thing I got was this, these uh, paper packs. They're six by six. There are 12 sheets in each one. There's And they were just pretty. I mostly liked these two. And I picked up that one. It wasn't, I didn't like it quite as much. I'm just going to kind of leave through because it has a couple of different Let's try that again. It has these kind of cards in it, and I really didn't want those, but I really like the designs in these, in that one, and in this one. I know it's kind of hard to see. But anyway, so those were the three that I bought, and then for free, I got some of those adhesive sparklies. And, oh, sorry. Oh, 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 so sorry. Please just close your eyes if I am, you know, making you messy. Uh, these were two, and I thought they kind of, they go nicely with this set, but they're two things of washi. So, but this and this were free. So buy two, get three free. There we go. I bought two. I got these three free. All right. Then I also at Joanne's. I couldn't resist. I had a 40% off coupon and I couldn't resist the Tim Holtz. This is worn wallpaper scraps. And yeah, that's what it looks like. I think that's going to be fun to play with. So I paid full price for that. Um, they also had inks on sale. So I picked up Distress Oxide, Dried Marigold, and Chipped Sapphire. So we'll see how those go. I haven't opened them yet. We'll see how they work. And I did it again. I've got to see it. I'm standing up. And I'm sorry. I shouldn't probably be doing this standing up. Um, then we went to the Dollar Tree. And at the Dollar Tree, I got... this. Is, these are wall stickers. But I thought, oh, wouldn't that be cool as part of a cover on a journal? Yeah, those are neat. These are sticky notes, but I really like the colors, and the colors go nicely with that set. So they're sticky notes that are really meant for a bullet journal, but I think I'm going to use them in my stuff. I'm planning to do a house journal at some point, one with a lot of houses in it. These are stickers. Believe it or not, they're metal. They feel, they look like metal. I don't think they really are metal it's uh i'm sure it's a plastic but anyway i got those and then i got napkins i just thought those were really cool napkins so i figured we'll play with those so that was my haul let's take a look at these ribbon i cannot wait to see these ribbons because you know not like i don't have enough i've got plenty so this one is a pretty green. I'm going to rewrap it because these are mostly a mess from having been in the bag. So we'll just wrap that right back up again and now it's all nice and neat. So it, it's a tool with another kind of satiny ribbon in the middle of it. Oh this one's going to look fun. This one's kind of, this has got, I'm going to put it up there so you can see it. It's got fuzzies. Can you see the fuzzies on it? Am I in camera? 
So that'll be fun to play with. Um, this is another one that has come pretty much completely unwrapped. Very, very bright orange. But this would be nice in a fall journal or a Halloween journal. Actually, it would also be kind of nice in a, a summer journal of some sort because the colors are really, really bright. So there are those. There's this, which is actually several pieces wrapped together. There's two different kinds, I think, here, all wrapped up and tangled. Let me get those. No, it's three. So there's a teal, a green, and a pink. I really like those. We're just going to keep those all wrapped together on here for now, and then we'll figure out what to do with them at a later time. So we'll get that all wrapped up there. This one has nicely stayed. Oh, this is a pretty copper. Hold that up so you can see the copper a little bit. Here's another green. Oh, this is a green velvet. Oh, this is soft. This is nice and soft. That'll be fun to play with. Another white, but this is just a plain white ribbed ribbon. Okay. And this is a gold. This looks like, yep, yeah, this has the metal in it, but those come out easily enough, so you can use those pretty easily. Okay, I have a very wide ribbon here that is, oh, look at the colors on this. It's like a batik print, and it is really, really pretty. Oh, we'll find a use for that for sure. Okay, so we got that. This is, oh, that's a nice coral color. I've been really into coral and um, like an aquamarine or a... A teal, a turquoise, more of a turquoise. I've really been liking putting those colors together. So that might be a color combination we're going to have to work on. This is, I think, more of a light blue than a green, but it's pretty anyway. What else do we have here? We have a little pink. That's pretty. A little pink with a little darker pink around it. There's another pink, but that's, that's, Almost a coral as well. It's a very, very light pink. Silver. Bright, bright silver. I uh, can't tell. Yep, this has the metal in it. Okay, I'll use this for wrapping paper. I probably will not use this in my uh, crafting. That'll be for something else. Boy, a lot of these are just kind of all messed up. So this is a nice beige. It's a very pretty color. It is not, it doesn't have the metal in it, but it does seem to have something that's helping it make a form. Okay, so we have that. We have more, well, I was going to say that's silver, but that's really more of a gray. It's not so much a silver gray as it is a gray. Okay, this is also something I will not keep, paper mache Paper, 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 crepe, crepe paper. That's paper, it's crepe paper. Don't know that I'll keep that one. I'm not sure that I'll keep these either. I think these may end up being donated somewhere as well because I don't really do pom-poms. I want to get back up to bits and pieces and I think I'll be making donations up there of some of these things. Okay, I've got some ribbons tied around ribbons. Okay, first of all, we have this really pretty purple. I like that. And then we have three different shades of green on a very cool um, piece of cardboard. Those would be fun to play with. Now, do I, is the, no, nope, that's not the red. This is another shade of green. A lot of green here. I can see me doing a lot of green because here's another one. And that's a really, that one is this curling ribbon. Yeah, this is more wrapping paper ribbon. Um, it's really pretty, but that'll be for Christmas. Okay, 
um, I have, let me see if I can get this out of here. This is a very thin red, which is nice because I don't have a very thin red, but it is, has come loose and is everywhere. The whole package is just, you know what, I, well, I can't, I'm wrapping it up because if I don't, I cannot get some of the other pack pieces out of here because they're tied up with this ribbon. So let me see if I can hold that and pull, there we go. I'll finish wrapping that up later, but there we go. Oh, that's a pretty blue. Almost looks gray, but it's really a blue. That's empty. I bought an empty spool. That's, oh, that's a thin, thin white. That's really nice to have as a border in places. Ooh, this is a pretty, it's uh, ivory colored and it looks old, eggshell. This one looks pretty old. And it does have the metal in it and it has a couple pins in it. So somebody attempted to keep this closed with the pins. Let's try to do it again. We'll use those pins and stab them right in there. There, that'll keep that closed. That's really pretty. I like that one. One last one, way in the corner over here. And this is unopened, 24 feet, eight yards, still 24 feet. It was 50 cents somewhere. Somebody sold it for 50 cents. Let me take that tag right off of there. Uh, but that's another pretty teal. So I have a lot of these really pretty greens. We'll see what we can do with all of these different greens. Those are all in a shade. This is slightly different shade. Here's another green. And then there's a, this is, people really were into greens. There's a green and pink. So yeah, so this is my haul for today. I am looking forward to using all of these in a lot of different ways. If you have ideas as to what you think I should do with any of them, either the ribbons or the papers or the sticky notes or where's my other, my wall thing, my Tim Holtz packet or my inks. I tried to get inks, by the way, that kind of matched with this. Or not inks, oxides. All right, that's it. Oh my glory, what a haul. It doesn't even all fit in the camera. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click like to let YouTube know that you're liking them. If you want a notification as to when the next one comes out, hit that little bell and you'll get notifications. In the meantime, this is Cindy signing off. <laughs>